This was my daughter's hair a long time ago, years ago, Jared. Hair does not grow overnight. But there are things you can do to actually accelerate hair growth, which I'm going to talk about in today's video. This is your hair after. You can see a lot of length and tension. But in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to shampoo your natural hair the right way. Because this is make or break when you shampoo your natural hair. You were shampooing your natural hair the wrong way all this time. That's why you're always stuck on the same length. So I'm going to show you how to wash thick natural hair and not get any breakage at all. Keep on watching. Hey, my lovely people, welcome back to my channel. Before I get into today's video, I'm going to ask you to watch this video till the end. Okay, you need to know the mistakes that you have been doing for the past few years. That's why you are still stuck on the same length. So watch the whole video till the end to know what you are doing wrong when you are shampooing your natural hair. So I'm going to be using this shampoo. And uh, if you want to purchase this shampoo, I will leave uh, the website in the description box below. This is my sister's shampoo, my blood sister. I actually did a video on my channel on the hairline booster that she sells on her website. But be actually, before we get far into it, please, I will ask you to do only four things. Like the video, comment below, subscribe if you're new here because you don't want to miss any of my videos. And also, guys, Turn on your notification bells to all so that you never miss any of my videos. And I want to give a shout out to my members. I have another channel, guys. And on that channel, I give out shout outs to members only. If you also want to become a member, please join in the link below. I will put the names of the people that I will give a shout out to. A big shout out goes to Maria Welfing, Letwin Sedze, Angelia D. Vincent 62, and Julia Eskew. Thank you guys for being members. I appreciate you. Let's get right into today's video. Please watch till the end. This will break or make your hair in 2024. Tell me the truth. Do you hate washing your hair or you love washing your hair? Comment below. If you hate washing your hair, I want to know because you might be washing or shampooing your hair the wrong way and you might not be retaining any length. Every time you're washing your hair, your hair is full in the sink. There is a lot of breakage, Jared. So in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to properly wash 4C thick natural hair without breakage. Do you get it? Let's get into it. Like the video if you're still watching. Like it and subscribe. All right. So what I'm doing right now, I'm just wetting her hair with water. That is the first step to shampooing your natural thick hair. And then I'm going to use this shampoo, which is the Shumi shampoo. You can go and check it on her website, but she only post to people who are in South Africa only. But you can actually contact her in the number I'm going to put in the description box below if you want to purchase. You can actually contact her personally. You can talk to her. She can send it to you. So what I am doing, I'm just putting the shampoo on the scalp. Okay? And the first thing you need to do when you're shampooing, make sure that you're shampooing your hair in twist, chunky twist. Don't shampoo your hair when it's out. All oh, your hair is out. Well, I'm just talking on my behalf because when I shampoo my hair when it's all out, it causes a lot of tangles. And when I'm about to detangle, child, hey, I experience a lot of tangles and breakage. Okay, so we are actually, um, you know, we're just not going to retain that length that we want. So what I'm doing now, I'm just applying the shampoo on the scalp. That is what I'm doing. And working that shampoo in, okay? Make sure that your hair is in chunky twist. Now, this is when I, after doing a hot oil treatment as a people. So what I did at first, I did a hot oil treatment. This is the video that I did. You can go and check it out. It's my previous upload. Go and check it out. I also leave it in the description box below. After doing the hot oil treatment, she sits under a wood dryer for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, I will then wet her hair with water before washing and then put the shampoo on her scalp. So if you did not know, sometimes it's good to use a stripping shampoo that would take off all the 
dirt out of your scalp, but that is going to leave your hair a little bit on the drier side. That is actually good because you are cleansing your hair properly, making sure there's no dirt. So this is what this shampoo did. Child, we need a clean scalp. So that's why I'm doing this video to show you what to do next after using a shampoo that is a little bit drying. After washing the hair, I'm going to use my coffee rinse, which you see me using right there. I'm going to use that coffee rinse to rinse her hair with that because we are on a coffee hair challenge, isn't it? So I'm going to use that coffee on your hair and the scalp. Now, after I used the coffee rinse, her hair was on the drier side, okay? It was on the drier side, but this is not where you stop, guys. No, 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 no. Use a conditioner, a regular conditioner, and be generous. Do you understand, you guys? Use a regular conditioner, work it in that hair, and make sure that the conditioner you're using has a lot of sleep. You all know, guys, that I love the Monday conditioner. I've done that um, video on my channel. Go and check that video out, you guys. So I'm just using more of the conditioner on the ends as well and on the hair strands and working it in so that it softens the hair. After using the coffee rings, don't just you know just wash it out with water and go uh -uh. you are actually shampooing the wrong way don't do that you see i'm working in that conditioner in his trans working it in and then i rinse it out immediately that's how you must properly shampoo your natural 4c thick hair and prevent breakage that's how you retain length if you are still watching say sis we got you we are not going anywhere we are watching Comment that below because I want to know who is still with me here on this channel. Chard. If you were making this mistake whenever you were shampooing your hair, that's why you're still on the same length, stuck there. Your hair will never grow longer if you do these shampooing mistakes, critical mistakes. So as you can see, the hair is now clean and so soft. Very soft, you guys. I used the shampoo. The shampoo was a little bit dry, but that's okay because you're going to use the conditioner, the regular conditioner on your hair. And that's why doing a pre -po is very important. If you just go ahead and wash your hair without doing a pre -po, you are you are just drying your hair even furthermore. So don't do that. You have to do a pre -po. So I'm going to put that blue thing just to dry to help soak all the water in your hair. And of course, we're going to give a cuddle, right? Mom and daughter. <laughs> Now I'm going to show you now what her hair looks like after shampoo. Okay? So, di -di 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 wow! <laughs> Look at that. I was just, you know, touching her hair to see whether it was dry or not. So I want you to see my daughter's hair right now. Well, the other hair just came out of twist, but child, it's very important to twist the hair so that your hair is not out when you're washing it. But if it's out like this, fine, it's okay, don't worry about it. Just make sure that when you're shampooing, it's in twist. When I was feeling the hair, it was extremely soft, like I never used a drying shampoo. Now, I'm not saying that shampoo is bad. The shampoo is really nice because it cleansed out her hair, taking out all the dirt out of her hair. That's what you need in a shampoo. If you have washed till this time, say I will change my shampoo method of washing starting from today. Comment that below. I will change my shampoo method of washing starting from today. If you want to purchase the shampoo, please um, you will find the link in the description box below and also a phone number whereby you can contact it. The shampoo is very good, you guys. I really felt like it cleansed my daughter's hair well, well. That is the shampoo you really want. There are moisturizing shampoos out there, but they don't really get out all the gunk out of your scalp, which is what you really need when you're washing your hair. But you really need to know the right techniques after using the shampoo. What are you going to do next? So that's why. I just shown you. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you and bye for now.